Hello everyone, I'm Amit from Mail Smartly. Today in this video, I will walk you through step by step method how to edit Outlook rules. Currently, I'm using Microsoft Outlook 365 as a disclosure and for editing Outlook rule, you need an existing rule. So I already have few existing rules over here. So first click on the home tab and you will see in the move section, there are two options, move and rules. When you click on rules, you will get a few bunch of options. Here you have to select manage rules and alerts. That will take me to the rules and alerts dialog box. Now when you check out the first option, apply changes to this folder. That means when I click on this drop down, I will get few email addresses which I have already added in my Outlook. So I select any one of it and you will see when I select the first one, few rules which are already added in this email address are listed over here. These are my existing live rules which are active. So if I want to add it, any one of it, all I have to do is to select the rule. So I just want to select or edit this rule and what is the rule description? This means apply this rule after the message arrives from this email address, delete it. That means when I receive the email from this email address, Outlook automatically delete this message and send the message to the deleted folder. So if I want to modify this e rule, how I have to do that? Simply select the rule, click on the change rule, click on edit rule settings. So here you will see rule wizard dialog box appears. So which condition do you want to check? The first option from people in public group, which is already selected. You will see from this email address and hit next. I won't, don't want to change anything here. Next is what do you want to do with the message? In the previous rule, I have selected delete it. That means I want to delete the message received from this email address and send it to the deleted items. But currently I want to modify or edit the rule. So I don't want the message to be deleted. I want message to be moved to the specific folder. So I uncheck this option, select this option. When I select this, you will see delete it is removed or replaced by this option, move it to a specific folder. But there is, but here you have to give some additional inputs to Microsoft Outlook, which is a specified folder. So when I hit specified hyperlink, that will again take me to the rule and alerts dialog box. Here I have to select the folder in which I want my emails to be transferred. So currently I have a couple of folders here and I have to select any one of it. In case if you don't have any new folder which you want to transfer the mails in that you can very easily click on this new but I have one folder which I have used for some special purposes which is my quick step so I select this folder hit ok you will see move to the specified folder is replaced with the my quick step now I again hit next are there any exemption Previously, I have not added any kind of exemption and currently I also don't want to add any exemptions. Simply hit next once again. See, the rule name is already added. Set up rule options. Turn on this rule which is already selected. And I want to enable this option also. Run this rule now on messages already in inbox. You can finally review your uh, rule description. Apply this rule after the message arrived from this email address. Move it to the My Quick Step folder. You can change the folder according to your requirement. You can name your folder according to your convenience. When everything is look perfect, you can simply finish. It will take few seconds and all the emails which received from this specific email address are instead of deleting move to that specific folder that way i have added my existing rule in microsoft outlook very easily by using simple steps i hope you have learned something new from this video please like and subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any outlook tips and problem solvers videos i come up with thank you and have a nice day